Hello everyone, it's Suzanne Harmony with Harmony Helps and I'm wondering if any of you are feeling overwhelmed, bewildered, frustrated because sometimes, boy, I am. But I'm also here to applaud you. I want to applaud all of you for hanging in there. I remember a few months ago where I did a video uh, about resilience and reminding you how resilient you are. And I'm reminding you that you still are so resilient as we are facing increasing gas prices, increasing food prices, and crazy weather. Crazy, crazy, crazy weather. And it is frustrating, I know. But I want to applaud you. I want to applaud you for hanging in there. I want to applaud you for still getting up every morning and facing whatever new challenge you have every day and deciding to put one foot in front of the other and keep going because that's the journey of life really where we were under the illusion before where life was predictable and scheduled and we thought it was secure but guess what we've had a shift and there is a gift in the shift in that we are recognizing we are stronger and better than we thought we ever were. And yes, we've had some great, great losses, but look what we found. We found a better, better, much better version of ourselves. We have shine, shine within ourselves. We are brighter, we are stronger. Um, united we stand, divided we fall. And if the person you leaned on before is gone, you've found a greater person within yourself, your soul self. Perhaps you've connected with a divine connection that's always been there that we lost sight of by our false connection to a schedule, a job, money, you know, things that are hmm, a lot tighter a lot scarcer, a lot harder to manage, yet we're still managing because of your faith of within yourself and reminding yourself that yes, it seems like, and you know, we have to choose our words wisely. I have even found myself saying, oh my God, we're not evolving, we're devolving. Well, and I found myself kind of getting depressed or, you know, feeling bad about the world because the words I was using were negative. When I kept saying the world was devolving, then all I saw was misery and how ugly the world was, where even, yes, I'm not losing sight of the war happening in Russia and Ukraine, and I'm not losing sight of, yes, tragedy happening, people being shot, and the evil that is happening. I'm not losing sight of that. I know that it's happening. Hi, Suzanne. <laughs> I know that there are terrible things happening, but there's also so much good. And so we're evolving in a different way. We're evolving in our kindness. We're evolving in our generosity of self, in our generosity of reaching out to others, in our creativity, in finding new ways to connect. This way, in reaching out with our hearts, in opening our hearts to reach out and be of service to people in new ways where what couldn't happen before can happen in different ways. Um, and even if our living situation can change, change doesn't have to be tragic. It is different, yet you can adapt and take a breath and count your blessings see what is right in the situation. There's a saying where rejection is God's protection and God being whatever source that works for you, whatever 
is other than human, <laughs> whatever touches your soul. So that universal life force energy that protects you. So that rejection doesn't have to be that there's something wrong with you. It's what's happening that's right in the world right now for you. And so find what's right, even in the disasters perhaps that are happening all around you, see where things are being spared, where as much as what might seem is scary and wrong, what actually went right, where I know in some places people are without power right now, but maybe they're helping each other, maybe they're huddling together and for the first time meeting their neighbor because they need to and they need to seek shelter by trusting their neighbor. Isn't that lovely to reach out and get to know your neighbor, get to know that you can help someone or maybe you be that person who brings a warm meal to someone who hasn't had a cooked meal in a while because they have no power. I find that we become resourceful when we need to be not so self-centered. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Maybe you need to soak in a hot tub. Maybe you need to go for a walk in nature when it's safe, when nature's being nice to us. And when it's not, maybe it's because we need some alone time. Maybe we need to turn off our brain. Maybe the computers need to be shut down so we can sit around and play cards with your family. Or just, you know, sit in a circle and massage each other's back. Get to know each other again. Hug each other. Pray. Thank the divine. Thank the source that you're all safe and huddled together. Hi, Kimber Ann. Hi, Michelle. Mame, bonjour, madame. Ça va? So reach out and be kind to each other and be grateful and be thankful for all that is. I'm, I'm seeing my lilacs in the background and I want to tell you a little story about that. Um, I was taking my dog for a walk yesterday um, and uh, I came across a tree that had fallen in the wilderness um, because a lot of trees have fallen with this wonky weather that we're having. And um, so curious Susie, I, uh, I wandered into the woods and there, there was my prize because along with the fallen tree was a lilac tree that wasn't in anybody's yard. And I love lilacs. And yes, I rescued the lilacs that would have just been there. Yes, of course, for the bees, but they didn't need all of the lilacs. And I wanted the lilacs to bless my place because I love lilacs. And to me, that's my mom's shining on me. She's bringing me what brings me joy. So, yes, I picked the lilacs <laughs> and I brought them into my place to bring me joy because we can find joy anywhere. So, see what's around. Go for your walk and see the blessings that are all around you. And I rescued the lilacs and they rescued me. And as I was walking back home, one of the neighbors was mowing his lawn and he said, you stole some lilacs. And I said, mm -mm -mm. I rescued those lilacs because the tree had fallen and it was in the wilderness. <laughs> and it was a blessing for me because they bring me joy. And I said, you know, the tree is there and it's not on anybody's property. And he says, oh, my wife loves lilacs. Well, then I said, you can go dig it up because it's, it's in the wilderness. And if you, you will have great joy and bring it to your wife and you can plant it in your backyard if you want. But I found joy for myself by going for a walk in the wilderness. And there you go. As easy as that, going for a walk on a cloudy day. But I found sunshine in the wilderness. And I found my mom, you know, who passed on this year. And there she is. Now she's in my home and in my heart, and there's joy again. So see how you can bring life into your world and bring joy, even in the wonkiest way. So the trees fell because the wind blew hard and there was bad weather. But what joy came from that? And I'm sharing that with you because 
we don't need to sit and focus on devolving or disaster. Go and see what blossoms. Because even after the storm, there's a rainbow. And even after death, there are lilacs to bring me joy. So these are tears of joy. <laughs> this is life after death. This is always ongoing. Find the joy in those miracles. Find the signs that are there for you. We're never alone and we're never empty. And I encourage you to do the same. Reach out and go for a walk. I, I have a little dog to take for a walk. And she'll sniff out all kinds of adventure too. But if you don't have a dog, take your soul for a walk and sing a song. I'm always singing. Even that lifts your vibration. And even if you get the words wrong, that's okay too. And you know what else is fun? Call up your friends and play cards. That's always fun. Just for fun. You don't have to be the winner. Just get together. And you know, that's what maybe they needed too. They might have been sitting alone at home saying, what am I going to do? Nobody calls me. Think about someone else who might be alone who hasn't had their phone ring for a while. People are so busy texting. Nothing like hearing a voice at the end of the line. Yeah, just do that. Reach out and be the voice that lifts a heart. And you bring the sunshine into someone's room too. I hope this helps because I'm Suzanne Harmony with Harmony Helps. I love you all and I hope to see you wherever we are, wherever we meet. And remember, we have a June buzz coming up on June 10th, 11th, and 12th in Hearst, Ontario. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.